Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to your daily 180 Bible study. Thank you so much for being with us today. We certainly do appreciate you joining us. We are in the midst of a study on worry. And the fact that worry is not acceptable for the child of God. As a matter of fact, in Matthew chapter 6, we looked at that last week. Three times Jesus says, do not worry. Now again, we want to distinguish between a healthy concern when you come to a street corner. You want to look both ways and make sure that there's no traffic. When you're driving down the interstate, you check your mirror before you pull over into another lane. But there's a difference when it comes to worry. It is the idea about becoming obsessed about things that you can't do. I mentioned to you last week that a wise man once said that if you can do something about a problem, don't worry about it. You can do something. If you can't do anything about a problem, don't worry. There's nothing you can do. There's a lot of wisdom in that. But I want you to also think about this. Why is worry sin? Worry is sin because it's a disregard for the commandments of God and it causes us to be focused on the wrong things. I want you to look at Philippians chapter 4. If you have your Bibles, you might want to turn over there. The book of Philippians is one of the most positive books in all the Bible. Paul wrote this while in prison. And I want you to join me at verse number 4, and we'll move down a couple of verses to ultimately get to what we're talking about. But I want you to see the background of what Paul's saying. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. That's what our focus should be on. Rejoicing in the Lord. And if you are a child of God, you have a lot to rejoice about. Verse number five, let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Verse six, listen closely. Be anxious for nothing. Or in other words, don't worry. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The reality is we don't need to be worrying we need to be praying. We need to be trusting God. We need to be looking to God for the answers uh, for the problems in our life and making sure that we're doing those things which are pleasing to Him. But when we worry, our focus is completely changed. Thank you so much for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study.